Welcome back, Dead Eyes and Ghost Beaters. And if you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming. And like always, we never hear anything. And then they randomly drop something on Reddit for what reason I have no idea. But that seems to be the place when they want to give information, they actually do it. We still don't have information on whether there's cross progression between Steam and, of course, Epic, which I've asked that question the day I made that video. And we don't know a lot of things, but here's some quick updates that were dropped on Reddit regarding the Game of the Year update, as they're now referring it, along with the Who's Your Daddy. I guess bundle? I guess that's what we're gonna call it, a bundle? All right, let's see what they said on Reddit. Dev update, some things are in the works, huzzah. Survivors and demons, we wanted to share some changes that are in the upcoming game of the year update. Following notes are based on the current conversations we're seeing in the community and the top feedback you leave on our portal. Sure it is. Ruby's active skill, we plan to adjust Ruby's active skill, which buffs your group to make it less powerful. So Ruby's catching a ding. I highly doubt it's gonna be even noticeable because usually when that happens, they don't do shit. So they either do like some negligible ding or just over hit it. I don't know which way they're gonna go. Considering how high profile Ruby is as a character, I think it's gonna be negligible and no one's gonna even notice it. Too many vehicles. I can't believe we're still talking about cars, but here we are. This has been a subject of many conversations with survivors and demons. We agree to plan to reduce the number of vehicles on the map. We hope this fix some early game rushes. Uh, okay, like I can't believe we're a year in and we're still talking about cars on the maps, but whatever. Annie Novi buff. We're making some update to Annie's active skill so that it will receive a buff that increases the attack of other survivors in your group. All right, Deadeyes jumping in out of windows. This is actually a bit of a problem. In the next update, we're fixing an issue with Deadeyes being unable to jump in and out of windows on the darkness map. Well, it should be looked at a little more thoroughly than that. This is one of the bigger problems why survivors can so easily kite. I feel like there's a lot of places where demons can't jump in and out of windows and it should probably looked at a little more thoroughly than just what's going on in Kandar. No damage after being revived. After successfully being revived, survivors will no longer take damage during the animation to playable state. Damage will only occur when you can move again. Now, this is actually a good change. When you're being revived, you're kind of frozen there for a second. You shouldn't take any dot. That's just stupid. All right, that's it. This is the things they're talking about. They said, though, keep an eye out. There might be some more stuff. Huzzah! For me, guys, this is not a whole lot. I don't expect much to change from it. Like, I feel like too many cars being talked about every update is just ridiculous. I think Ruby's active skill is going to get ding negligibly. I don't think most people are even going to notice the difference. I think it's going to be like less than a 5% hit, if that. Um, Annie Noby buff could be interesting. She's kind of been relegated to nothing on the leader pecking board, so maybe buffing her a little bit is not a bad thing. Uh, the Deadeye jumping in and out of windows is absolutely important. It should be something that should be addressed. It does help demons, and it makes it harder for them to do anything before endgame, which is why they're just focusing on book anyway. And uh, the damage to after res is, is something that should have been fixed a long time ago. It's one of those things that kind of lingers out there. They didn't talk about anything about jumping skeletons, so I don't know if they're touching the problem with Necro, where they're in one place and then suddenly they blink across the map and attack you from behind. Maybe that'll be in some of the things. Now, of course... We're going to have our patch notes that drop April 26th. First thing will be the first video I dropped that morning. And of course, we know it's not going to be the complete patch notes because for some reason, Saber releases patch notes and then they're like, just kidding, here's more. Why they do that? I've got no idea, but they do. So what do you think, guys? Is this anything at all? Are you excited about it? Is this something you want to keep an eye on? Is this just whatever? Let's just get to the update and see what happens. Because let's be honest, we're probably going to have to do our own work anyway to figure out what really is and isn't adjusted. So let me know. As always, thanks for watching. And later, mates.